Hello, everybody. I'm Amanda Rueda, and I am a senior product manager at GitLab. And I want to show you how I dog food GitLab for my everyday processes from a planning a milestone perspective. So I have some other videos in this playlist that show you how I decompose an initiative and how I search for new features or plan a little bit longer term. In this specific video, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I take once a month um, as a precursor to our monthly milestone planning process. Okay, so let's share my screen. And here what I'm really looking for are, um, are the things that I have spec for the next milestone the right things? Um, are they shovel ready? Are they in the right priority? Um, are the are the structure of the epics and issues good? Do I have to add things? So um, for these tasks, as I mentioned, I do this monthly and it usually lasts about a week, um, a couple of weeks before the milestone starts. I am really leaning heavy on GitLab boards because boards give me the flexibility to create lists. And I really like lists by milestone. You can create lists by different things, but I like lists by milestone. Um, because I can, as I'm, anytime I touch an issue or a piece of work, I'm specking where I want to, um, schedule it for, you know, the next milestone or up to the next two milestones. And so when I'm doing that organically, then I can create views like this to see, okay, what was I thinking? Do I need to rearrange things? So this particular board is scoped to just our design work. And in a prior um, video, I explained that I like to create um, separate issues for design and development. Um, and as an example, I'll just give you a quick recap. So in this case, I have this kind of sub feature of users being able to open a child um, work item in a full screen view rather than just a modal. And this epic is a child of a much larger initiative, which is a work items. And so when the work related to this ships, I'm not gonna close my work items epic, but I can, I can close this smaller subset um, feature. And so for this specific uh, feature, I have created an issue for design, an issue for backend, and an issue for front end. This is typically the behavior I take for all of my issues or all of my features, um, unless it's just back end heavy, like API work or something like that. Um, the reason why I like to do that is because I can schedule them for separate milestones and I can visually see on that board what's coming next as the team can as well. And I find that the team likes to see what's coming next, right? Um, I can have separate assignees for each of those and create another board by assignee if I wanna see what folks are working on. And um, one of the really nice benefits is I'm able to create blocking relationships. So for example, if this design um, issue doesn't land in 1511, I know that it's blocking these two issues. So I have to push these out um, to the next milestone or when the design will be shipped. Um, so those are all the reasons why I personally like separate issues. Not everybody at GitLab does that, but I do and I find it super helpful. So let's pop into this um, UX uh, board. These are the things that we're planning for the next milestone, 1511. And what I'm looking at is have they all been weighted? And as of right now, they haven't. Um, right now, there's a risk that we're not going to be able to do all of this because this feature might come in a little heavy. Having two eights, for example, in a single milestone is a little bit too much for a single person. So over the course of the week, when I'm doing my planning, I'll be discussing with my designer the potential weights on these. And if it comes back that that is an eight, for example, um, and we agree that that's just too much for the milestone, then I'm gonna decide which one of these is more valuable. And then I'm gonna move one out to the next milestone. And that's how lists grow. Um, if I do that, I might pull a smaller one from a future milestone into the current. So I'm looking to make sure we have the right amount of work. Then I'm also looking for um, prioritization of work because I ask my teammates to work um, the boards from top down. 
Um, meaning that I've always put the most important thing um, for them to ship in the top spot. So in this case, um, actually the sort by feature is the most important. And then the, um, the design feature and lastly, the full screen feature. So I'm looking for priority order. And then I'm looking at um, labels, making sure the right labels are assigned so that they get picked up by different views. Um, and then finally, I'm just taking a look to make sure nothing is blocked. So I'm taking a look to see, are any of these records blocked, which um, not records, but these issues. But typically this would happen, a blocking issue, a blocked issue would be more on the dev board and not on the design board. So I feel pretty good about design. Um, next month, I will come in here and I will do the same thing. I'm always looking at the, the next um, milestone as well to make sure maybe priorities might have changed and I might need to swap some things out based on new needs of the business. And so I'm always looking here um, and I will make another list coming up here soon. I like to have um, at least two milestones out to three milestones out. I won't put it now, but I'll show you how. So I would put a milestone and I would pick 16.2 would be the next one and add it to the board. Um, but I typically do that when I close um, when I close a an existing list. So once we ship this one, I'll close the existing and then add a new one. Okay, so now that I have UX um, down, I'm going to jump into my dev board. And from here, the th I'm looking for similar things in that is it the right things that are scheduled? Are they blocked? Do I expect that the blockers will be lifted before the milestone starts? Do I have weights? Um, do I have the right labels? Do I, am I overweight? Um, I'm usually targeting for our team maybe 40 issues at this stage. I will look at weight a little bit further in the planning process once we've added weights to everything. Um, but I can see that I have some room for growth here. And so what I would be doing at this point is I would be slicing this um, list by type because it's important to me that we are shipping both features as well as maintenance, tech debt, bugs, um, all things that create a healthy environment. So I would start filtering this list by type. We use a type label so that I can see what my mix is. And if I'm light on bugs, for example, um, I probably wouldn't go into a future milestone to find them. I would go into an issues list and I would search by um, bugs with my group um, for candidates and I would add them. But if I'm short on features, I typically have the next most important features already set out because as I showed you in my process, I create using this epic structure, I create that front end and back end at the same time that I create the design. And I'm typically already adding it to a milestone. So those features that we see um, here already went through that process. So I always have a backlog of what's coming next. I just might drag and drop between lists on what's most important, especially once I have weights um, to determine, okay, well, given the capacity we have um, or the complexity of our particular item, which ones do I want to make the most important race to the top? Which ones do I, do I think I can wait another milestone on and so forth? So this is my process. The last thing I want to show you is my planning issue. Um, the, whoops, the product org here at GitLab create planning issues. Um, and this is the wrong one, sorry about that. And every for every release, every product manager creates a planning issue which outlines for the team the stuff we want to work on. So once I've I've, kind of firmed up my board and I know exactly what we're working on for both dev and um, and UX, I will summarize these things here in the planning issue. And here I like I have a little table that shows us what percent of the milestone is um, attributed to features or bugs or maintenance. Uh, and then the design work and the, the um, 
the features, as I mentioned. So this planning issue is kind of the last step once everything is firmed up, and it's more of a summary for the team to know what's coming and why. So that's it. I wanted to walk you through how I plan a milestone, and there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.